Hey everyone, Al here for BC Extreme Outdoorsman. Um, up in the mountains here, shooting at my long range spot. There's a rock face up there. It's about, what is it? It's 1,865 yards, I believe. 1,700 and something meters. You're about to watch a very explicit video about how to process a moose. You're gonna see everything from the guts coming out to it being cut up with a chainsaw. The chainsaw I use is specifically just for that and I, right from brand new I just put um, cooking oil in it from Costco. It's cheap and it works good and it doesn't contaminate the meat. So like I said, if you're weak in the stomach in any way, stop watching now, but please, you can still subscribe and like. <laughs> Enjoy the video, bye. Okay, this is usually one of the first parts. Usually, if I start back here and Rick starts I gotta start the up chest. Here. But the first thing here is to cut out the ass, and it's not a nice job, but I always get stuck doing it. Hell always was an ass man. <laughs> yeah. I am an ass we man. should get him a custom license plate. Yeah, ass man. Yeah. You, totally, so you cut it all the way around as much as you can. Like that. And then from there. And then from what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start here. And I'm going to cut all the way back. I'm going to cut up. There. Down to his neck. Around. This here's his penis, and it goes. There's a bone underneath it, the pelvic bone, and we got to get this out from here so that we can cut that bone without making a mess. So well, I'd rather be hung like a moose than hung like a horse. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna cut around the nuts because we got to leave those on. I don't want to do that one right there. Okay, so I'm gonna cut all the way down here. This is a special gutting blade, so it doesn't cut the gut sack. There you go. If you there just you go. cut that, now I can just cut the penis out. Put it right here. Then grab it. Without taking off the, the nuts. I'm going to cut one nut because it kind of rides on the side, right? One on each side. This is your moose anatomy lesson, yeah. folks. And that's the penis. Should come up there, eh? Yep. Cut the damn thing. Try to stay the close to the bone as you can. And by the bone, he means the pelvic bone, not yeah, the penis bone. Exactly. So that's it. That's where it goes in there. So if I just cut down. You connect it up with the cut you made for the... Yeah, we'll connect up with the... The bung hole. And the bladder sits right underneath this pelvic bone that we need to yeah. cut with a chainsaw. So that's the one thing you don't want to be yeah, So once we get here. the guts half out, then uh, we'll cut the penis probably about here. And, and then yeah. usually Rick squeezes the bladder and I pee the dink <laughs> until there's nothing in it. That way the chain won't catch the, the bladder, bladder going through the pelvic bone. Okay. So okay. So now we're ready to open up the chest cavity. Chest cavity here. And then we're going to need the chainsaw to cut the brisket. Is the intestines there? You see the liver in there? This is the liver. Nice looking healthy liver. And that's the... This is the diaphragm, diaphragm. that separates the lungs and the heart. Now, that's probably the, the hardest, the, the most pain in the ass piece. Yeah. You gotta get your hands right in around the back with the guts on both sides. I wonder if we should uh, bring your quad in a bit more so he's more square. I don't think so. I think we're yeah. okay there, Al. 
Because I, I got a crooked line to cut here. Yeah, that's okay. You can cut it with it. That's not a very deep cut. Okay. okay. Yeah. open spaces and you always have an extra pair of clothes like this that you don't care to get bloody and mine are so dirty after a week I don't care <laughs> I need a bath tonight or a shower okay so now we're gonna cut up in here with the knife yeah let me get this get his windpipe diaphragm yeah. opened up a little bit more if I can Windpipe exposed. Got a couple holes in it. You put your fingers in. Okay. Cut in there, Rick, and I'll yep. pull. Okay. So usually you pull with your fingers. Try not to pull too hard because you'll just tear it. Okay, I'm gonna get that. Watch your boot there, Rick. Yeah. Want me to pull back? Like this. Can you go your way now? Yep. Hang on out. And that's just fat. Put this off now. Okay, well, it's pretty much it. Okay, we'll cut it with the. Yeah, you won't hit it with the saw now anyway. the line there, Al? Yep. All the way through? No. There. Now you are. Now we just kind of skin out the okay, ass. Okay, let's pull this. Pull out that back end way. Yeah, a little bit there, eh? That's the guts out. <laughs> Connective tissue. <laughs> Scoop it over there now, Will. It's pretty much out. Okay, so now what we want to do is cut between the third and the fourth rib from the bottom. There's rib number one, two, three. So we want to cut right there. I'm going to need a buck knife for this. Yep, I got mine. Yep, mine's actually on my quad. And while you're doing this, you always keep your eyes peeled for more moose or... Mr. G-Bear. Maybe a grizzly bear that we've been seeing in the area. I need to chase on a... Nick. 
Now you do the other side too, Rick. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we need to pull them this way more. So, probably your bike first? Yeah, probably. That's good, Al. Perfect. Well, awesome. All the blood's green and right out. Here, do you want one to just cut the hide? The hide on that side a bit more. Oh, no, and I gotta cut the hide on this side a bit more too. Yeah, that's about all I can get. Yeah. Okay, let me throw more in here. Once I cut it in half, we can get the rest of the hide. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, hang up. Try to cut to keep the meat clean. That last piece of hide that we're just fighting with. And then we got. I'm losing two halves. You cut a handhold. There we go. Okay. We're going to need handholds anyway. Yeah. We usually put a handhold here and here for lifting. Too, huh? yeah. We always cut a hole here. Now there's some tough hide. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's good enough. That's good enough. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so now next job is to half them. Half them. A quarter of them now. Yeah. Half the half, half the, the halves. <laughs> <laughs> Which way do you want them, Al? Do you want I'm, them? I'm thinking bring the legs this way. Yeah, that's right. Like nice swing way. them around. So you're working downhill, eh? Yeah. Just like that? Yeah, there we go. Is cut through all the bone without getting a hide. Now we try cutting with a knife and 
We always find the spots we yeah. missed. No big deal when you miss, it's just it's better cool. to have extra. Want me to pull on that end? Yeah. Over there. So the handhold comes in and I can pull. Height is something different. I think there's still some at the top there, right? Yeah, there is, I know. Just gonna do that and there we go. pull it. There we go. Yeah, that's good, don't pull too much more. Looks like you got it all, huh? Tail? Right at the tail. You can see where I hit hair there and it bungs up the saw like this. There we go. Now I'm going to cut the legs off. Yep. And we're ready for sheets and a quad. And that's half a moose processed. Half a moose. As you can see, they got big feet. And those big things in the back there, those are the hawks on it. And you can always tell a bull when he walks, you can see those marks on the ground. It's probably 10 pounds or more here. <laughs> just in a hoof. Yeah, we're just talking. Wolves do. Yeah. And exactly. grizzly bears. Feeding the predators. Okay, what do you want to do? Do you want to do this one? Yeah, let's just uh, do that one, Al. Okay. Yeah. Um, you got to cut the head off. Yeah. And that's normally Norm's job, but he's being our videographer today. So yeah. He's getting off on late duty. Yeah. Make up for the next one. <laughs> hey, Rick. Yeah. Heads up. You know, get the head out of the way. You're gonna get covered there, Rick, I think. your side and do it. Want me to cut down that?
bone. Yeah. Thick that height is. No joke. We leave the hides on until we get them back to camp. We skin them back to camp, keep some meat cleaner. And uh, we also carry some sheets with us. We're going to wrap them all in sheets and then we're going to strap them down on the quads here. We always put the hind on the front and a front on the rear. It helps to balance the bike better. And uh, so half a moose on each quad. Slightly past the recommended carrying capacity, but hey, they're Honda, so they're built tough. That'll be for the moose. And when you do do this, you should usually have a rifle out just in case a grizzly comes. But yeah. we've seen a grizzly here twice yesterday. <laughs> and but he was, he, was, he was about a quarter mile that yeah. way. And all, all our rifles are in our quads unloaded. So. Yeah. As per the regulations. Yes. Don't want to break the law. Ready? Yeah. Ready? One, two, three. Go. A little bit my way. That's pretty much it. And from there we are on the road back to camp yeah. where we'll hang them and skin them out, clean them off. I'll hang them 20 feet high so a stupid bear can't get them. Yes.